Hi, we're going to try something a little different today. As some of you know, we go to Value Village occasionally to have a look uh, for various things that we might need around the house or for camping, but often we also find Lego. So right now, um, I'll show you what I usually do, my process for anything that's not bought out of a Lego store. I do have previous videos of washing and stuff, but um, I'm going to do this from scratch. I'm thirsty. First, you get a towel. The towel is very important because you have no idea what's in the bin. This show is not sponsored by JealousPanda.com, but I'm very good friends with the guy who runs JealousPanda.com, and uh, he is here for all your aftermarket and custom Lego needs when it comes to capes, glass, tents. He also does other things for other hobbies, uh, laser sights for Nerf guns, uh, GoPro uh, accessories, dart holders again for the Nerf guns, and track adapters. So if you have a kid that has Thomas the Train and Duplo and whatever kinds of tracks he might have, uh, the Jealous Panda has all the various adapters to connect all those train tracks together. And this is the bin that we found at Valley Village today. Now the top said Tyco, so I wasn't actually going to look at it, but I saw this piece and I said that's obviously Lego so I did have a quick peek in it and the very first thing I saw besides this piece was this and some people go "Ooh, it's Star Wars I don't care but it has classic or old dark uh, light gray and it has some printed tiles and stuff I had a quick look when we were at the store before I bought it it was $49.99 we'll talk about that in a bit this is why the towels here just in case there's uh, ick at the bottom of the barrel, either uh, hair or gum or whatever else. I don't want that on my table. Normally, I dump out in a towel. I spread it out. I find non-Lego stuff and I throw it in a trash can. I have a quick perusal. See if there's anything that's going to hurt my hands. That is obviously not Lego. Trash can. But everything else, before I get down to the nitty gritty, everything else looks like it is Lego thus far. Now what did also catch my eye when I opened the lid was this dragon. Classic dragon from the castle series. Gator, I didn't see him before, but he's great to have. Bicycle, always cool. Horse, ooh, an R2 unit, probably goes with that. Now that is something really cool. I don't think I actually own one of these. I probably do, but I didn't buy it in a set. I probably got it at the garage shell and I just... Brick separator, another horse, wow. Um, dragon. So I have two dragons. The rest look pretty much a burp, dark gray. That's dark old gray. So that's nice to have. Usually, you don't get mini figs when you go to Valley Village. They seem to separate the minifigs out. I'm not sure, if, at least from ours, if somebody takes them home or they sell them in a different bag, but I usually don't find minifigs, so this is rare for me to find a minifig in a Value Village bag. Assortments of classic castle saddles, suspension wheels. I don't have too many of these. Always nice to have. Not for my space layouts, but <laughs> what are you going to do? I said earlier in the video that I was going to tell you about the... Uh, the $49.99. I did ask the guy uh, if there was wiggle room in that. He said since it just came in the day before there was no wiggle room but uh, if you go to Value Village and something's been sitting on the shelf for a while and you think it should be discounted you can ask. Again there's no harm in asking but uh, what we also do since Sandy and I do so much donation to Value Village cleaning up getting rid of Josh's old stuff old clothes that he doesn't fit them anymore or whatever else uh, we get the cards, the donation cards, and uh, we fill them up pretty quick. So we had a full card, which gives us 30% off, which is fantastic. So basically this was $35. And donate. Uh, the, the, they, they need all the donations you can give them. So all your old clothes, old, old utensils, old kitchen wares. Uh, we've taken kettles and stuff that we no longer use or it got upgraded at Christmas. We just take the old stuff, Christmas trees. We take them whatever we can over to Valley Village 
and they're very appreciative. Um, and then you can buy a Lego cheaper <laughs> if you find it. I have enough people in my life telling me where I'm wrong. Hey, here's another cool piece. Trans orange mailbox. Uh, I found a fully submersible water pump. I'm going to make a nice little rock garden pump out back. And I'm going to start doing that. It was four bucks. I found tripods for the GoPro. It's a nice store. Uh, they do good work. Um, they're doing good work for the community. And uh, we find that they're really nice people there. So anyway, uh, I'm, again, I'm not, I don't work for Valley Village. I'm not uh, sponsored by Valley Village, but uh, I'm very impressed by the work they do and what I usually find there. So uh, do what you can, help out the world, clean out your house, get rid of your stuff that you don't want that's just causing clutter, and do somebody else a favor. Um, don't take Lego there, because I'll end up buying it, and I want to be nice to my pocketbook. So. so. Or you can just bring Lego straight here and save yourself a trip. Um, <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes a lot. So uh, have yourself a good day, and I will talk to you soon.